and welcome back to the editorial, the podcast where we discuss the mistakes that TLDR makes and why people are angry with us. As always, I'm joined by Zach Michaelis, TLDR's editor in chief. Hello again. Why are people angry with us? Why are people? Well, I think there's one thing that people were really angry with us. Okay. Within the last, the last time we did this was about two and a half, three weeks ago. So yeah. In that time period, I think there's been one thing that we got grumpy with us about. And that is on TLDR Global. This mm-hmm. is our Will the US Invade Mexico video yeah. that JJ McCullough gave you a bit of stick about. <laughs> um, which, Thanks, JJ. So, yeah, because so, yeah, he's definitely watching. He might be. Someone might tag him. Uh, maybe, actually. I think there's he's, a non zero chance. Non zero. It's dropped into your vernacular now. As yeah. Well. yeah. For anyway. context, yeah, go on. we were at VidCon when the video came out, and JJ questioned why we made a video the about premise, yeah. Mexico being invaded, which is a fair question. Yeah. I'm not sure he'd seen the video at that point. So <laughs> so I think, uh, just give a little bit of context, what basically happened is we released it a couple of weeks ago and uh, it was actually Jan who's behind the screen. You can't see him, but he's doing the camera. can't no, believe you're me, blaming Jan. No, no, but me and Jan were in the office together. And okay. um, when it came out, we it immediately had a lower like-dislike ratio than usual. So it was about 91%. And mm. our usual is about 97%. Yeah, yeah 90 yeah, I'd say anything below 97 is dangerous. I feel like you're... Yeah, 96, anything below 90, 96. 98, I feel like. That's what you should It's probably an average, to. right? I think average, yeah, probably, no. I th- well, Depends on the channel, I think, yeah, a little sure. bit. It's about 97. I think 97 is what we sort of aim for and sure. we normally make. But um, yeah, it immediately came out. It was about 91%. And I think some of that was just sort of like instinctive pushback against the thumb, which was pretty sensationalist. So I think we should just discuss like the actual content of the video and then... Talk about how That's a good thumb well, the though. thumb was yeah it was too sensational. It was a good thumb and the title and stuff like that. So the content of the video is talking about how recently, or maybe about a month ago, really mm-hmm. now, um, some quite senior Republicans, uh, including some of the like slightly more loony lot <laughs> like Marjorie Taylor Greene, yeah, and uh, Lindsey Graham implied something, um, have been flirting with the idea. Invading is probably too strong a word, but of bombing the cartels in Mexico Mm -hmm. without necessarily the Mexican government's approval. Yes. And that would be a form of foreign intervention. I'm not sure if the word invade is too strong there. And I think some of the pushback, like people say like, oh, it's not going to happen. This is just like the slightly wilder wing of Mm -hmm. the Republican Party. I'm sympathetic to that, but it is also worth saying this is something that Trump said as well in January and has flirted with more recently as well. So Trump, I think in January said that the cartels, are going to deal with them like he dealt with ISIS. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and like something along the lines of we just need to bomb them. And yeah. basically said, when I'm not, I don't care if the Mexican government says yes or no. Yeah. And you might dismiss this as sort of like campaign posturing mm-hmm. or, or something like that. Um, but I think it's not beyond the realm possibility if Trump gets elected, um, especially given that he also made some quite, some quite hawkish comments uh, during his actual presidency mm. uh, about this issue. When I think according to the memoirs of, of one of his, I can't remember his name, Mark Esper, I think it's Mark Esper's memoirs. Sure. Um, he said, can't we just hit them with a Patriot missile? No one would know it was us. I think he says the phrase, can we just bomb them quietly? <laughs> okay. A great phrase. Very good. No, I mean, there's so much wrong with that. Like the idea that no one would know it was you. I also think Patriot missiles are ground to air. Okay. So, <laughs> great. So how are you doing The wrong that? one. Yeah. The complete yep. wrong missile. Um, but yeah, so he, uh, Trump definitely flirted with the idea uh, back in, in, in 2018. And I think that as relationships, relations between uh, the US and Mexico have soured, which is what we sort of concluded in the video. The conclusion of the video was that actually in a sense, this is just a symptom of a general mm. downturn in US-Mexico relations. As relations have soured, um, sort of hyper hawkish Republicans have started talking up the idea a bit more. You, yeah. know, you can't imagine them saying this sort of thing if there was a sort of more pro-American president in mexico sure yeah um and i think so some of the pushback was so that's what the video was actually about mm-hmm. some of the pushback i think was just about the thumb which was could the u.s invade mexico or will the u.s invade yeah. mexico just sort of fair enough i mean that is pushing the bounds of clickbait yeah too. yeah i think that that is the text i think is probably though didn't it didn't a i don't know who it was might not be the mexican president but when i read through the script someone said that if they that from mexico's perspective if America did it, they would see that as an invasion, right? Yeah, I'm I think Hamlo uses the language, something along those lines. So I think we're not, it's not like we're making up these words. I don't think it's just the word invade. Oh, okay, maybe not. But 
Yeah, he says it would be a sort of, um, in like infringement of sovereignty or something. Along Which I think lines. is objectively true. Yeah, of course. But you know, there's a distinction between Bobman and Bay. I think more generally, there's this sort of sense of like this isn't really important news. Which I think is fair. Which I think is fair. I think the general. I, I do. I've been wanting for a while to do a video more generally about sort of U.S. Mexico relations, especially mm -hmm. under AMLO. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think people are fair to point out that given that the first half of this video was about some the Republicans talking about bombing Mexico. It's not really the that important. Sure. Uh, and if if the only the only conditions under which it's sort of sufficiently likely uh, slash pertinent mm -hmm. um, that we could justify doing a video on it is if Trump gets elected. So if we're going to do a video on this, yeah. we should probably wait for Trump to be elected and then so talk about it. So what that. was the thought process that led to us actually writing and animating the video then? So if if we if we agree that the content is probably it's all true and broadly fine. Yeah. The packaging is maybe a bit clickbait. Overselling it, but yeah, overselling it. Yeah. How do we reach the point How where we we, we had a script where we needed to oversell it to? Like, yeah. Yeah. So I can, again, this is my favorite phrase on this podcast, but this is an explanation, not an excuse. So sure. I know exactly how this happened okay. in my head. Yeah. So I, uh, one of the contributors on TLDR US recommended it as like a title, like, because mm -hmm. uh, we've seen some of the crazy comments on the Republicans. And yeah. Like, oh, why don't we do that? Yeah. And in most circumstances, I would have said no. But what lent it in awe of legitimacy in my head is that one of my favorite podcasters, okay. who's quite a smart fella, mm -hmm. uh, Adam Adam Tooze, I would strongly recommend that people listen and read his stuff. Sure. He's really, really great. Um, but he talked about it on a podcast. Mm -hmm. And I think in my head what happened is because Adam Tooze was talking <laughs> about it, I was like, this is a legitimate sure. to video topic. Um, and... I think, in a sense, both Adam and I made a mistake that day. Okay, great. Um, but, yeah. So I think that's, that's, that's the explanation. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I still think we made a mistake, and I, I actually do apologize. It's a waste of, waste of people's time, and I'm glad we pulled that video. Um, and we, we shouldn't really be, be covering stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, the, the other like the, the other thing worth mentioning in the explanation, not an excuse, bit of this, bit of this thing, mm -hmm. is that Part of it is definitely that we've struggled with US content. Yeah. And I think when we are considering US content, we sort of err on the side of clickbait. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Sure. Or we sort of lean, we, we are, we're, we're too tempted by clickbaity stuff because we want to sort of guarantee that it does yeah. better than your average US video does. Yeah. Um, so I think that's sort of how it ended up coming out on the channel. Also, we've discussed that the US content that tends to do better is the kind of more foreign policy, yeah. international relations side of US, yeah. which doesn't explain necessarily the kind of the packaging, but it explains why a topic like that is tempting because it ties into, as you say, wanting to cover Mexico, US, wanting to do more US content and also being aware that US exchange or talk to or invade or whatever, all those things yeah ex other country it's that engagement that's often interesting yeah and i think i was also more anxious about the video and i think it's because we don't really have any data on mexico as a topic mm -hmm. so i didn't know how well that was going to do so so given that i know that u.s stuff does well does, does badly yeah i know that mexico i didn't know anything about mexico so i don't know how well that's going to do yeah i didn't have any obvious pull factor i had no guarantees that it was going to do like sufficiently well to justify it commercially yeah so i was sort of really reaching for mm -hmm. clickbaity stuff to a, to a sort of counterbalance those facts sure but yeah so that's an explanation not excuse i still think it was it was a mistake and i am sorry about that and we will try and stick to more serious topics in the future great yeah anything else one very quick one we also got a little bit of pushback on tldr uk a couple of weeks ago when we released the video on the uk's mortgage crisis mm -hmm. i should say that this yeah a very limited pushback here okay um but the like for, for context the like dislike ratio was 95 okay five slightly lower than normal slightly lower than normal uh and i think the comments were pointing out that in the video at least in terms of our tone the tone of the video we seem like we seem too worried about well, well according to some commenters we seem too worried about the the fate of home owners or mortgage holders in mm -hmm. the uk and a lot of people were saying that like our sort of focus on this issue is misplaced because if you can't afford your mortgage, move out of your lovely expensive house. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the sort of real crisis in the UK property market is more to do with renters. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually quite sympathetic to this. I, like, I understand. I think, I think this is not, we're not actually that guilty of this, I don't think. I think this is a general failure of like the media class in the UK mm -hmm. is that they're often quite myopically focused on mortgage holders, homeowners. Yeah. Um, 
and not renters. Renters just don't really receive that much political attention. I think that's partly because the government, this current government, obviously yeah. the voting base is homeowners, homeowners that's yeah. what Tories are. Um, and But I also just think there is like this sort of like selection bias issue in like the UK media class uh, where they're just like, the, I guess because they're probably all homeowners yeah. as well. Everyone um, they know, well, not everyone, but a majority of the people they interact with will also be homeowners. So yeah, yeah you can see how it happens. I, I don't, yeah, exactly. But I don't think we're really making that much mistake though. I think for that video, two th I'd say two things. One, there's no n exclusivity necessarily implied. No, we haven't done an equivalent video on renters. But when we're talking about like sort of the mortgage crisis, mm -hmm. we're not suggesting that there aren't other crises Course. in the UK. Yeah. There are quite a lot of crises <laughs> in the UK. Um, and the other thing is that I think one of the reasons maybe we focus more on the mortgage crisis is that it's political impact. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the main reason it has political impact is because A, there are more, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but there, there are there are more homeowners than renters in the UK. I don't know if there's mm -hmm. necessarily more mortgage holders than renters in the UK, sure. but whatever. Um, but the main thing is that that makes up the bulk of the Tory base. Yeah. And that's why it's such massive political news yeah. because Sunak is refusing to help out essentially his base. Mm -hmm. uh, and that really does not bode well for him at the next election. You can see why he's doing that. He's, he's worried about inflation and, and in his mind, at least, the priority is bringing down inflation. Mm -hmm. And if you provide sort of material support for people who are struggling to pay their new mortgages with higher interest rates, you're, you're basically just offsetting the, the, the effects of interest rate rise. Yeah. You know, you're, you're making the Bank of England's actions redundant. Yeah. Um, so you can see why he's doing it, but the political impact and the political dilemma for Sunak is huge. Yeah, absolutely. So that's that, that's what I would say to that video. But I am sensitive to the more general point that renters don't get enough political attention in the well, UK. The good thing is, as a team, the vast majority of us are renters. The vast majority well, of us Conspicuously, are Zach became not a renter yeah, yeah. around the time this video came out. So draw the conclusions you want. Yeah. But I'm a renter, so, <laughs> so okay. push your hate this side of the table. <laughs> um, Let's just try and not reveal too much personal information. Right, right. Then. Yeah, it's true. Who, who's gonna, what's going to happen? What are you going to do with that info? Yeah, true. No. Which, um, which bank do you bank with? What's think, your mother's maiden name? <laughs> Um, okay, that's why everyone's angry with us. Yeah, I think that's everything. Uh, but I th yeah, I, I apologise for the Mexican video and I yeah. sympathise with the point on the homeowners video. I don't think I necessarily have anything to like strictly apologise for there, but I sympathise with the point. Yeah, nice. nice. Okay, if you've got anything else you're angry with us about, um, I'm sure you'll tell us. Yeah. But also comment below on this video and we'll attempt to cover it next time. We try and do these every couple of weeks, so we should be back relatively soon um, with the next episode of the editorial. Until then, goodbye, I guess.